All right. It is time to tackle Tim's projects. So he sent me some Silfloss sticks here. And uh, I want to show you the way that I did it the first time. Now, the only difference now is that I'm going to use 12% hydrogen peroxide versus the 3% I was using last time. So let's go ahead and start with some hydrochloric acid. With just a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. And just like that, bam, we made AP. Alright, well, I'm gonna throw this on the heat. Turn some heat on. And there we go. We'll let that eat for a little while. I'm sure that'll take a long time, actually. We've got quite a bit of base metals in there we're going to try and move before we even attempt to uh, put nitric to refine that silver. So go ahead and uh, yeah, let her rip. All right, so here, this has been sitting for like two weeks. I moved it over to a... Uh, an actual gallon container here but look at that so I've always kind of explained it by it feels encorded so like if you like when you uh, when you encort gold and then you uh, run it through nitric it kind of feels spongy and that's exactly what this feels like um, and that tells me they're 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 pretty pretty much ready to go um, there's still going to be some copper in there, but I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. There we go. They like just break. So that tells me that these are pretty much ready to roll. So we'll get to filtering these bad boys out and run them through some nitric after a couple of rinses with some distilled water. See if we can get some of that AP off of there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's about two weeks in here. I did have to add a little bit more HCl to it to get it a little more potent. Um, but yeah, I think that I think we're good. All right, we're going on the ground. So I'm just gonna do a cotton swab, fit down in there. Just a cotton ball filter for this stuff. See if we can get all the stuff kind of off the bottom. And let it rip. And that's what's left of the silver. We're gonna need backup for this one. So I don't splash it all around. Do a couple of uh, distilled water rinses on this so that we can make sure that we've got all the HCl off of there. Hey, we're back. So I completely forgot about this experiment and I don't even know if I have the, uh, the beginning video clips. So I'm just gonna record this just in case I find them. Anyways, I think the last part if I, that I recorded was, uh, these were in the filter. Um, basically poured out the AP and then I just rinsed this a bunch of times with some distilled water uh, in a separate bucket just to just to ver make sure that we get as much of the AP off as possible and then I let it sit for I don't know three weeks until I it was completely dry and basically you just pull that copper plug off which you still get a little fuzz there right it's not perfect and you got a little copper or uh, silver in the plug so this just goes in the filter we, re we get that later in the nitric boils and uh, this stuff is pretty much ready to roll 
Now you can see that there's still possibly a little bit of a copper shape to it. Um, so I probably could have let it sit in there a little longer, but it's, if anything, it's just shells and uh, the, co the, the copper amount will be so minimal that the, cop or the silver cell will have absolutely no problem clearing it up. So let's get away on this. I know we started off with 100 grams in AP, so um, this will give us a good indication of how much we got in there and uh, if you like this process or not. All right, I'll put you. I'll switch you over to hand mode here. Um, let's see. I really don't want that to fall off of there and land on the floor. That would not be good. That'd turn into a big silver dust explosion. All right. There we are, 19.25, not bad, maybe a little extra, or, uh, you can subtract a little bit for the copper, or the uh, cotton, and then you can see there's a little bit probably of copper in there, let's see if that stuff breaks up, yeah it breaks up. All right, well, if you wanted to refine that any further, you could always take that to uh, nitric and then re-cement it out. But uh, incineration will take care of that cotton and the, the silver cell will take what little copper remains. Hey, what is going on, everybody? So this was just a quick little video on how I process my brazing rods or leftovers. So in this instance, uh, Tim Toolman sent me these guys. And uh, it goes really well. So one thing I did want to note is, so I, I used my more uh, potent hydrogen peroxide, my 12%. And so I started to do a nitric bath on these, right? Trying to get it into uh, uh, silver nitrate. And I actually found out that uh, the 12% converted it into um, silver chloride. So there was no reaction there. Um, it didn't even affect what little copper was left in there either. So I'm not sure what happened there. But when I used the 3%, which maybe I'll, I'll do um, another video just to show you the difference. Um, when I used the 3% or copper chloride or copper 2 chloride and hydrochloric acid, I get, I get regular silver that I can dissolve into um, silver nitrate. So... I'll show you that, but uh, yeah, yeah, other than that, it was good, and okay, so I'm sure you have seen the big news already, but Mike from Omega Geek 64 has accepted my challenge, and he's actually putting out his first video tomorrow, oh, I'm so excited, so anyways, uh, look forward to that, I actually am started on it, I've got everything dissolving the tin off of there right now. Um, I am going to be gone deer hunting this weekend, so I won't be able to get too much done to it, but when I get back, it will be ready to be incinerated. So we'll get that, uh, I will be able to jump onto that set and, uh, we'll post maybe as far as gravity separation, see what that looks like, see what we can get. Um, so really excited. It's kind of cool. Uh. Yeah, Mike has, he's, he was a big inspiration for the whole channel. Um, I, uh, I've been watching his stuff for a long time, so it's actually really cool to uh, actually kind of, you know, kind of talk to him, right? I haven't, like, physically talked to him yet, um, but I, I did get a message yet, ooh, three days ago, two days ago, um, about the challenge. So, it's really cool. Um, I'll post that, like, right here. Really cool. So, other than that... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.